year is 2013. We live in the Ronaldo Messi era, witnessing two of the greatest ever footballers at the peak of their powers, thinking that no player ever will come even close to that alien-like level. That is, until a young Brazilian kid whose name was echoing in the shadows finally steps into the spotlight. Neymar da Silva Santos Jr. A name that you only needed to hear once to know that this guy is destined for glory. On the 3rd of June 2013, Barcelona announced the signing of the Brazilian wonder kid days before the start of the FIFA Confederations Cup. It was the first senior test for Neymar, and it was time to show the world what he's made of under the pressure of the new Barcelona shirt embarked on him. Ladies and gentlemen, he did not disappoint. Here's Neymar! Oh, wow! Neymar! Gorgeous! Just gorgeous! The boy is a superstar. Neymar! This is becoming, make no bones about it, Neymar's competition. Neymar, 21 years old at the time, was the talk of the globe. A sensation, a Ronaldinho reincarnated, a force of nature, a showman, a joy to watch, and most importantly, he was announced the heir to the throne. Football just found its most promising talent since Ronaldo and Messi, a Brazilian gem tearing through Europe. Playing alongside Lionel Messi the Great was quite the debate back then. Will we witness a clash of egos or will we enjoy a match made in heaven? It was a match made in heaven indeed. Adding Luis Suarez to the situation created a triangle of death, the legendary MSN, a trio that terrorized the whole continent of Europe. An unprecedented chemistry between three unimaginable talents with Messi as their main man. Winning games was a given back then. In their first season together, they dismantled the greats of Europe and won a historic treble. You just had to be there. It was magnificent, to say the least. And despite being on the pitch with arguably the greatest footballer of all time, Neymar stood out and showcased his enormous potential and talent. In fact, sometimes he even took the wheel and led that whole Barca squad to glory. We saw Neymar literally do that in the famous night against PSG. He single-handedly led Barcelona to an unthinkable remontada in the most dramatic of scenarios. But he woke up the next day to see most of the credit given to the loyal servant of Barcelona, Messi. That right there was the spark of a chain reaction that led to the most disastrous decision made by the Brazilian. The devil whispered in his ear, You'll never escape his shadow. You'll never be their hero. You'll never win the Ballon d'Or beside him. You'll never earn more money than him. You will always be second to him. The Daily Mail, along with many others, claim Neymar could be packing his bags in Catalonia for another cash-rich club. The paper report that Paris Saint-Germain have triggered his 220 million euro release clause and that Neymar wants the move, having become frustrated living in Messi's shadow. Blinded by his ego, Neymar made the switch and joined a lower class league in a club smaller than Barca and an institution which fueled his already enormous ego. He was the judge, jury and executioner. And instead of using that to become the next great thing, he took the Ronaldinho route. Neymar was just a young man that had the world under his feet and that was more than enough for him to be selfish and give the game less than it deserved from him. He dived into the Hollywood life and didn't look back. It was like his passion for the game was replaced with passion for money and partying. It was said he came for the challenge, but he was never consistent in all the years he was at Paris. In fact, the only consistent thing about Neymar in Paris was his injury every year near the date of his sister's birthday. But what about his home country? The favourite side to win the 2018 World Cup was captained by none other than Neymar. It was really confusing times for the football world, as it was a bigger opportunity for Neymar to officially claim the throne after the competition saw both Messi and Ronaldo going home pretty early. However, Neymar disappointed and had a very average role on that team, which led to Brazil's exit from the quarter-final. One disappointment after the other seemed to weaken Neymar from the inside. 
He started doubting himself and all his decisions, but it was too late now to go back in time. So he moved on to another quest. The long-awaited Champions League trophy had to return to Paris, and that's why the whole project was initiated in the first place. It's actually pretty crazy to think that Neymar was always just a Champions League away from achieving all he wished for, and it was very close for him in the 2020 Champions League tournament. That tournament saw a different Neymar, a committed one, a leader who led the whole PSG squad all the way to the final, just to clash with a horrifying German side, Hans Flick's Bayern. The game was pretty close, but luck stopped standing by the Brazilian since his move away from the Spanish giants. But at least they can come back next year, right? Mbappe! Patrick! Brilliant! Absolutely brilliant! He's stolen the show! Put his name up in lights! Great feet by Mbappe! Oh, what a goal! What a sensational goal! It's Mbappe again! Mbappe once again on the swivel! Oh! oh. Kylian Mbappe that was brought to help Neymar was not so young anymore. So even if they came back, Neymar would have been shadowed by the new spoiled kid of Paris. In Mbappe's book, that ship had one captain, and that wasn't Neymar for him. It was himself. After a very friendly start between both players, the tables have turned and the battle of egos prevailed. A battle that completely destroyed the Parisian project from the inside. Mbappe rose to occasions, while Neymar was hit by one injury after the other, until he became the fans' favourite villain. He was booed and hated on by the PSG fans, and multiple leaks even suggested that the club was trying their best to get rid of him. Although it was very logical what happened, every football fan had this hope that eventually Neymar would claim his rightful place as the heir of the goats, but he never did football's last hope, the last player who made us remember the beautiful game, the man who made the game look very easy, the man who kept our ties of the vintage times of the game, the man who always reminded us that football is an entertainment show, the man who broke all the boredoms and machinery of the new game left us stabbed with reality and awakened us from the dream. And on the 15th of August 2023, Neymar Jr. left Europe at the age of 31 to join Saudi side Al Hilal in a new hunt for money. The most tragic ending possible to a career marked by disappointments. We wish him all the best upon this new journey of his, and we want to thank him for making us dream. At the end of the day, He's a human himself and has every right to live his life on his own rules. Nobody can blame him for anything and nobody can blame us that we wanted to see the prince of our game finally crowned as the king. As they say, happy endings are just seen in movies. <laughs>